has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Her top winner's here, why didn't you read his mind? Why didn't you read his mind, streamer? Mr. Chuck, thank you the prime two months in a row. I feel like I already read your name. I just got serious deja vu like I read your name, bro. Already. And be silent. More power. Do I look like a patient man? Why did you not help J4 with leash? True. Fortunately, people don't leash and Elo's above Iron 4. Real and true. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. Uh-oh, is HLE Kina ruining the game? Hang on. Roasted him just like that? I mean, when was the last time? Seriously, I played- I started this climb from Emerald. I don't think in that time I saw a single jungler leash. But I paid them. No one fucking leashes. Well, at least we have a lead. I'm far from done killing. Honestly, I should buy boots. Like, okay, he bought a coal. I bought a coal too. Like buying remote doesn't do anything. I'm gonna TP you back. TP back when I have Sheen, anyways. I'd rather just buy boots and survive. Survive. Listening? Hey Tim, how's your climb going, brother? Words mean nothing. Ellis Six Light came in here and said that it doesn't matter if you climb 400, 500 LP, you would still be masters. And I'm 530. That's what she said, bro. Now what? How messed up is that? Just won three Pantheon games? Bro, nothing feels better than playing like your second character, right? And just winning. It makes you feel like you're on top of the world. Actually doing something pre-13? Yeah, oh, that was a sick freeze. Doing stuff, bro, nothing feels better than playing Yasuo, and I rotate the grubs because I have boots, Berserker Greaves, and like, <laughs> we win the fight. I mean, they went way too hard for that guy, what? That Yasuo is an Inta. Okay, let's get the kill. I did 351 damage. Five minutes into the game, cross map. I think Kalista just fucked up. I think I just saw her fuck up really badly. Oh my god, she traded. Oh, I got an assist! Big! How can you start D-Blade versus Scion? Uh, it's because... <laughs> this is not smart. This is what I'm doing. What I'm doing isn't always smart. So, since the last day and a half, in the last 24 hours... Yeah, in the last 24 hours, I've just been playing what works for me. It's not what's smartest, though. 
like grasp and D-blade into Scion isn't normally. But I'm doing this because I know that these guys play like psychopaths on this server. And I can't take advantage of that. Take back what's mine. Press WQ and win every fight, yep. Yeah. If you get Chapel 4 split ends, that would be crazy, bro. That's what I'm trying for, man. I'm not killing myself over it though, in-game, of course. You know what I mean? Uh, my main goal is when the season starts, I want to like skyrocket climb, play against all the world players, play against uh, child players and all that. If I do that, I know I can maintain it. It's just that you have to deal with this hellhole every single time. Oh, whoops. Casual 14 day child run as GP on 90 ping, bro. Oh my gosh. That would be cinema. What is he building, by the way? What do people build on Scion nowadays? Every time I play against an EU Scion, it's a different build because it's whatever Baus was feeling that day. Titanic Sterax? Oh, I've literally never seen that shit in my entire life. <laughs> I, I've literally never seen that shit in my life. Like I said, it's whatever Baus was feeling that day. Oh, Whipple build? Okay. Betrayal steam. Hate him versus Baka, who's the best? Hate him is the king of building fucking Axiomark, Lucidity, Boots, Leandries on Gangplank. You got one way out, bro. You have slain an enemy. Looks like he had no way out. Hack their kidneys out. Everyone pays. I don't come back stronger. <laughs> you bastard sucker, three agent challenger, bro. On God, though, I swear it's not your fault. <laughs> Bro, I swear it can't entirely be your fault. When you have a quicksand elo that is like 5 billion games you have to play. I was gonna ult, but you didn't have W. How are EU GP bad? I need to know. What do you mean? How are EU GPs bad? What's that mean? Shut down. Okay, I ulted really late, but it's fine. IDK, no one is Chal here? I mean, just, okay. I can't say anything, never mind. I was gonna say, like, well, just look at me, bro. You know, I'm struggling, I'm actually struggling a bit in Masters. Not because I think it's hard. Well, it's hard for all the wrong reasons, right? But then again, I'm playing on ping. And ping does matter. I told myself earlier that if I wasn't on ping, I'd probably be 200 LP higher. And like the higher elo you get, I think the easier it is to climb, in my opinion. Like last time when I got to EU Chal, which was like a year ago, aware, um, I peaked like really hard. I just kept wind streaking in Challenger. An enemy has been but playing in like masters, ugh, brutal. I don't know, bro. Now here's the thing, though. I feel bad for them until I realize that early season exists, and early season is very easy to peek in. Early season is very easy to peek in, especially I think as a gangplank player. I I, I think it's very easy to peek early, especially as a GP player. So. Honestly, maybe there's not that much of an excuse. This is nothing. I'm leaving. This is nothing. This is nothing. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm playing for myself. Guys, I'm playing for myself. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. J4, do not die. Okay, they want to gank top. There's no excuses. We are just bad. That might be true. Why are they bad? Um, I mean, I don't know. Think about it this way, right? Uh, I, 
Korean gangplank doesn't look that crazy. They just look like every other Korean player. Like, okay, Korean gangplanks only look Korean, but they don't look like a good GP, if that makes sense. Like, because they're playing, like, for example, when I was playing in GM, Master Tier, Diamond, and Korea top lane, everybody's really good mechanically. Like, really, really good mechanically. That it's like, oh my god. I, I was a little frightful of his W coming back up. That's the reason why I didn't execute there. That's just racist? <laughs> Shut up, idiot. Anyways, what I was saying is that, like, they're the only good GP player there, right? Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'm not cooking. Let me think about this more in depth. Let me use my, my brain. Let me use my brain for this. Also, I think I'm gonna go Shoujin. I don't know, I just like Shoujin build. Feels fun. Uh, or I could go crit. Nah, Shoujin's fun. Shoujin is so fun. I'll hit him with everything. I don't even know how Mankey is useful in his games. He has so much impact pre-15. Yeah. I mean, he has chances, bro. Listen, playing in Korean high elo, dude, everybody wants to skill check you. So you have those opportunities, and people are also not afraid of just going in. <laughs> Bro, if you've ever watched... Yeah, this guy's I, I just honestly TP just to secure it, but like, it looked like it was already won. You, everybody skill checks you. It, it's a little bit like EU, honestly. Like, people in EU low master will always skill check, like, every single barrel, I feel. Even if it's, like, really bad and they're low HP. So, I mean, it, it does give me those types of vibes. Fuck. Hitting on Mankey? Bro, I'm not hitting on Mankey, the fuck? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how I came out the way I did either, playing on North America. But here's the thing. I feel like North America... I don't know. Maybe it's easier to succeed being a one-trick because people are less psychotic. I don't know. Let me think about this. Let me think about this in depth. Because, you know, I want to explore it. Why did I come out the way that I came out? Because I never watched Tobias Fate, right? I never... I, I was like... 95% self-taught until I, uh, until I was, like, Grandmaster. <laughs> and it stayed that way because I was the best GP in North America, so I didn't have anyone to learn off of. Mankey was in the military as well. Mankey was in the military, GP main had fallen off. Um... And then EU, there's no gangplanks. So the only person I had to learn from was me. And they made you really good at 1v1s. That's what I noticed. So you got really good at laning. Well, I think a big part of that is from LS, actually. I was always a 1v1 demon. Like, even when I was first starting League and all that, bro, I only played like Yasuo, Zed, Azir, like Blitz, Bard. And I know those aren't all like 1v1 champs, but I always... Huge ego. Huge fucking ego and wanted to skill check everybody. Triple passive. One more. One more. He was on the way. He was on the way. And he's dead. He wanted to fully charge it up because no, no Scion player can really deny that. You know, I I owe it all to my good friend Steezbomb, though, honestly. You you know what he did? He's the guy who introduced me to League because I was a Minecraft Andy, right? And he literally didn't let me play norms with him until we played, like, eight bot games in a row together. Serious, by the way. He literally said, I don't think you're ready for solo queue, or for norms. I don't think you're ready for norms, bro. I don't want to lose my norms win rate. That's what he said, unironically. So we would play beginner and then play intermediate. That was my that was my practice. So whenever I tried out a new champion, 
I never was discouraged from playing the champion. Because I was playing against bots, so obviously I'm dropping like 10 kills every game. Only 10 kills, by the way, I was that bad. So whenever I picked up a champion, it, it felt pretty good. Yeah, when I was Grandmaster, the thing that pushed me to Challenger, because I peaked Challenger, but then I was hard stuck, Master Grandmaster for a long time. Uh, watching Onion God actually helped make me more consistent, for sure. Because Onion God always had a plan when he laned, I felt. But for sure the biggest thing was getting coaching from LS. Because when I got coached from LS, <laughs> he humbled the fuck out of me, actually. Because at the time, I still was the best gangplank in North America, right? But like, even though I was the best, he pointed out how many mistakes I had in my gameplay. And at that point, I was like, I thought I was good. I thought I was good, but I wasn't good. So, th and that video is still on YouTube, by the way. Was it private coaching? It's on YouTube right now. You can watch it right now. Uh, LS coaches Solar Baka. And it was, it was through, it was through the coaching. Uh, it's the oldest one that's on my channel. I learned. Betrayed. LS is ruthless? Jesus, Fuck that guy. Piece of shit. Asshole. Nah, but it was through that that I, I actually, like, took that information in. I'll burn it all down if I can't have it. After that, um, so as League players, when you reach a high rank, you learn how to think, right? Everything can be broken down to a system. So I was able to learn from my mistakes extremely quickly. Oh. There we go. We just had to play it slow against Mr. Yasuo. 